Hey, we starting later than usual, boy. This week, you know what I mean? Unforeseen circumstances, the weather, so. Uh, we're here to the spirit of the house, but she's more shy. And his work go out, you know what I mean? We're gonna make one salvation with fair trimming, you know what I mean? So, let me continue and let me go, huh? This is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, the glory and majesty, the minute and power, both now and ever. So be it. We give our praises on the glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bukha Kodash. I double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. I shall have warm to the Yakim who will that are sincere. I see what's really good of the hour by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Yahushai. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1. Yeah, so, like I said, unforeseen circumstances. I couldn't get out earlier. So, I hear now to the spirit of the hour by Hashem Yahushai. Let his will be done. So we started with the book of Romans 13. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, and now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. You say? Why? Because you see all the, the, the prophecies come to pass, the rumors of wars, right? The Lord said these things will happen. So Matthew 24, you get that, right? So Matthew 24, our verse, our verse um, 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Wars and rumors of wars be so the situation with Lebanon, right? Which they say is a missile attack. They show you the footage of a missile attack. You know what I mean? I got footage on this phone here. Where they show you the, like couple citizens in Beirut looking up in the sky and then you know quick so there was a big explosion. You know what I mean? Lord willing really, I can do a video on that, but it's rumors of wars be, you know what I mean? Right? And, and where, where was the attack? On the, on, the, on the port, on the Lebanon's port. And that's where all the food, hey, everything comes through there, the food, harvest, supplies, you know what I mean, medicine, um, you name it, everything comes through the port. You see? Right? So now, Le Lebanon was hit now, right? The food, the, the food prices over there, plus the economy over there is already in shambles, right? So you know now it's going to be worse than than um, it's going to be worse now than 10, 15 years ago. You say? Hey, because that's the time. We read it again. Romans 30 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to be able to sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, our salvation. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Right? Whose time is at an end? He saw Edom. That word, world there. When you read Second Edges, um, when you read, um, in fact, you know what? Let me get it, man. Let me get it. Now your Lord said, "He sees sin and let me fall from heaven, man." That's um, yeah. Said Matthew twenty-four and three, and as he sat upon the mount of olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, where shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming out of the end of the world? And this word world here is the Greek eon, which means an age or time. So he saw his time period of his ruling is at an end. Right? We read it again. It's at Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, 
the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So the end of this age, man, we are making this dwell, man. You see? We are all on righteous decrees flow through this earth, man. Right? Whereas when you discover the truth that you are a true Jew, that you are a true Israelite, so called you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, those of you that are in high positions in this society, whether you're an entertainer, an athlete, a singer, whatever it is, your, your, your master comes down upon you. No, nah, brother, I ain't going for you now. Right? Um, that's very no. Um, brother, how are you? Yeah, why? Yeah, why? Yeah, why? Spend all out of me, brother. Yeah, yeah, why? Spend all out of me. I thought nine forty square, but I didn't see that out there. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Right here, brother. Yeah. Oh, right. I told you for the bus here. I told you bus here. Right, so people that don't come in. Like I was saying, so I can go down. It's where they stand again, you know what I mean? Yeah, so like I was saying, right? So the end of this world, the end of this age, this eon, that's where everybody, everybody, everybody got to be wearing masks, got to be wearing masks, got to conform to the draconian ways. In fact, let me, let me go to that scripture, boy. He speak, he has two horns like a lamb, but he speak as a dragon, right? He has two horns like a lamb. Revelation 30 and verse 11. And they beheld an, another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So he had two horns like a lamb, right? And he spake as a dragon. So he was, he was, um, he, a lamb, when you look at a lamb, it's all soft, it's all soft, it, it, um, you know what I mean? It looks, it looks, it looks timid. Right, it looks beautiful, her whole fur looks. So compared to America, America's the place where you could go to get your dreams come true. The lights, the glitz, the glamour. Right? It says what? And he's and he speak as a dragon. Now he's speaking as a dragon. The word dragon means draconian ways, right? So he's using our righteous decrees, Isaiah 10 and 1, using our righteous decrees, right? To perform their to perform his agenda. Which is who he saw Eden, right? He's he's tightening the measure. He's taking away your rights, um, slowly but surely. Call it gradualism. Isaiah ten and one. Go to them that decree or righteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they are prescribed. Yeah. So go to them that have decreed or righteous decrees. That is what this is saying. He does, man. Right? I got a video on my phone here. A man was paying child support. He was in the rears. Of tree ground, he still he paid off all the tree ground, and yet he was still chastised, right? Yet he was still brought to court. Is that? Right? Is he a tenor? War war on them that decree on which is decrees, and that right grievousness which they are prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey. And that they may rob the fatherless. So, yeah, so that's what I do, man. They keep going after you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because you, you are the ones in the ghettos, man. You, and you're the ones that, um, that are uh, these elites target all the time. Right? The undesirables. You see? The other nations that have been uh, fall, when he comes down with great wrath. And even Esau's own people are going to fall. Right? They call that collateral damage. That's the whole agenda because they want to do all the agenda. Right? So the, all the, all the, the rent and the mass, right? And then the, and then the, and then the mandatory vaccinations, and they were doing too, they're shutting off the power, right? Shutting off the water, because you're complaining. So they show you who's really in power. 
You see? So it's high time you wake up out of sleep. It's that spiritual slumber you in. Right? And wake up to the truth, man. Wake up to the truth and understand, hey, that you're behind, you're behind enemies' lines. He's about to show you that he is really the devil. He's gonna come no hard on you, Jax, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? I see a ten of one again. War on them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the father. So they're always going after, they're always going after the women. You see? They're always going after the women because that's the way you destroy a nation. You conquer a nation through their women. You see? So that's where they get, uh, um, they may want their fear, well, get, get rid of the man, certain things it's gonna do, you see? So it's time to wake up, understand the times you're in, right? So back in Romans 13 and 11 again, and that knowing the time, and now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer, that when we believe the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of blood. Yeah, because the Lord said, the Lord said, Isaiah 60, right? Isaiah 60, man. Right? Isaiah 60 and verse. And verse 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and grow as darkness to people. But the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So gross darkness is covering the people, meaning that the the the, 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 the rays. When you read Galatians, when you read Galatians, um when you read Galatians. Galatians 5 and 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the rich, I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. That's gross darkness to people. The way is the the, the, the the mindset, right? You see, that's, that's the gross darkness to people, right? 1 Corinthians 6 and verse um, sorry, verse 9 man. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9 Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high Be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards now be violers, now extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the most high. So you gotta be born again. You can't be you can't be getting through these do these same things all the time, man. You gotta change your mindset. You see? Now we Lord telling you, you gotta change your mindset, man. Oh, hey, wait, it says here, not effeminate, not abusers on themselves with mankind, even bullers, man. Even bullers can be paint, but you gotta you gotta get this true water, man. You gotta get this true water, man. Right? It says uh um, as such were some of you. you see that? So we you so what hey the Lord said um the Lord said for you uh, for you yourselves were in um for you yourselves were in darkness of you pulled it, right? So, so it was once like that in 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 in, 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 uh, in this dark world. You know what I mean? The Lord saw it fit, hey, call me, so it won't be like chosen. He said, so hey, continue. Alright? He says, uh, as such were some of you. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, 
Sanctify out through this word. Wash out through this word. Right? Let me prove that. Ephesians 5, right, good, come. Ephesians 5, 26, that he might send the and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So this word is what washes you. You see? Go back in 1 Corinthians. 6 and, um, and 11. And such were some of you, but ye are washed to this word. Ye are sanctified, sanctified how? To the truth. St. John 17, right? What I St. John 40. St. John um, Salakia. Yeah? St. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. So you see, we receive the truth, man. It's going to say what in the same book, St. John. The same book is St. John. St. John 7. Oh no, that's St. John. Um, St. John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. See that? Plain. So back in. Um, 1 Corinthians 6 and 11. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai and by the Spirit of our power. So we have been sanctified to our Lord and Savior, man. I said that this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, man, this understanding, man. You understand? Know and the soul do we declare his name to the world, man. You understand? Know For heartily, man. Right? Making our bodies a living sacrifice, man. Right? So now we ain't matter. Um, now let me get Proverbs 21. Proverbs. Proverbs 21 and 16, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. What is the way of understanding? This word, man, this truth is the way of understanding, right? Proverbs 1 and 2, to know wisdom, start at 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. That is true. That will tell you in um, that will tell you in um, Second Timothy 316, all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the most high may be perfect, totally furnished unto all good works. That is word and this truth, man. So that how you're being cleansed, man. So this word is truth, man. Right? So game by the Romans 30, man. Say. Romans 30 and 12, the night, is far, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the arm of light. Yes, yeah, so the day, who, who's day? Right? I tell you in the book of, um, so lucky I want to find out. Right? It's good to see his, um, his day is at hand, which is all Lord, huh? The day, 
the days at hand. Right? You know what? Let me continue here. Spirit, let me continue. Yeah, so going back, Romans 13 and 13 and 12 again. The night is far spent, the days are hand. Let us therefore cast off the, yeah, the day, the day of our salvation. You know what I mean? The day, the day the Lord comes to redeem the children of Israel, primarily the elect. You see? And let us put on the arm of light. This is this truth. The Lord said, the Lord said, um, what will you have the light? Right? That's in uh, Galatians. Then it's one that says, um, then it's one that says, um, I forget how it goes. So like it. Anyhow, continuing. Right? Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in writing and drunkenness, not in chambering, and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord, and have a shy much yet, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, yet to commit adultery. You know what I mean? To really disobey the ways and the words of the Mosa, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. You see? Because the scripture says, for rebellion, rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Right? So you, 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 um, for saying the ways of the Mosa, you really rebelling against the Lord, be. You know, so you really making war against the Lord, because the word rebel means to really make war. You know, son? You really making war with the Heavenly Father. Listen, and the scripture says, you have our arm like the more side be. You say? That's in the book of Job. That's in the book of Job, man. Like him, man. You just want to see us have our arm in the more side, right? You don't got, you don't got strength in the heavenly fire this sun, man. You say? So you better, you better wake up. You say? So like him, man. Has our arm in the more side? You mean? Hey, that is great, man. It's like him, man, trying to find that scripture. Right? It's like him, man. Yeah, come on. Job 40 and, and 9. Job 49 has done an arm like the most side, or cast down thunder if a voice like him. Yeah, B, you got you, 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 you're limited, B. The Lord is unlimited, man. I'm reading that again. Job 40 and 9 has done an arm like the most side, or cast down thunder if a voice like him. Death thyself love his majesty and excellency and array thyself in glory and beauty. That's with this truth. That's with this truth and this knowledge, man. Right? Because hey, before the Lord, you are nothing, be St. John, man. Let me get that scripture, man. St. John 15, right? St. John 15. Um, let me start at verse 3. John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, abiding me, and I in you as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringing forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. And that's plain. You need the more say Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who you ignorantly call God or Jehovah. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God or Jesus Christ, man. Right? Verse, verse, verse 6. If a man abide not in me, 
Yes, just fourth as a branch, and it's bitter. So you're about you're about to strengthen it more side, bro. You you can hey, you're limited. Lord is unlimited, man. He don't need you. We need him, man. So you know, see you ever raise up stones, man. Maybe. If a man of buying none in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather themselves, so like it, and men gather, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done under your plan. So the Lord's gonna look out for his elect, man. The Lord's plan. You say why? Because we doing his will, man. Right, be doing his work. Yahweh right. is going to say, Seek ye first, the king, and finally get out, man. Right? Say Matthew 6. Say Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Mosai and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So, hey, so, hey you got to seek the words of the Mosai first, man. His agenda first. And then, hey, your day to day, your day to day, um, no, I just want to take a picture. Your day to day necessities will be taken care of, man. Quick, so you just see blessings flow, bam, bam. Is that? Um, I am too for the dynamic, but you know, I can show you the side, and then I will find this side, and then I can show you the side. So good, game about the um, Romans 30. Ready? I'm 40 in the game, but put it on the Lord, yeah, I will show you. I must yuck and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. I read that earlier, right? The words are these adultery, fornication, deceit, etc., right? Seven, right? But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. End of all things is at hand. Right? Meaning what? The prophecies, right? The Lord's prophecies is, is almost at its climax. Me. So the Lord said, tell us to be sober, be. Right? Be circumspect. The Lord told us to be circumspect, man. Right? That's right. Read it again. Romans, I mean, uh, first Peter 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Yeah, the Lord, tell, the Lord told, told his men, you know what I mean? Uh, watch as well as prayer. Say, right? So that's what we got to do. Say, right? Wait, what, what does it say? Habakkuk. Right? Read the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answer me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. What was the vision? For America to be destroyed and the Lord's kingdom reign on this earth. That way, that's what the Lord told the disciples. Right? Back in St. Matthew, man. Right? St. Matthew. Back in St. Matthew 24. Right? Yes, 
yeah, and you start at verse 1. And Yahweh Shah, you may know, had departed from the temple, and the disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Hey, being so Lord is prophesying me. Tell you, hey, this 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 empire, this Roman Empire, right? He saw Edom's whole power structure will be taken down. So that's why he told us to stand on our watch, be Habakkuk 2 and 1 again. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and walk and be watched to see what he will say under me. So we're looking for the prophecies, right? And you gotta check the news, you know what I mean? Check the articles that are coming out, you know what I mean? And further it to the scriptures, man. Right? And what is your answer when I am reproved? The Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision, and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. Yeah, but you run into the scriptures, man. It's like you run into the scriptures, man. Right? To get the understanding of why these things are happening. Why it happening because of that prophecy. The Lord said this will happen. The Lord said that will happen. You see? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, be it for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry yet a man it tarry it because the scripture says, well, I dare to the Lord like a thousand years. And a thousand years like a day. So the Lord controls time. You understand? Know he manipulates time. Right? So going by the um Game by the first Peter 4. And um 7 again. But the end of all things is at hand. So yeah, again, he saw the whole power structure. Revelation 17. Right? Revelation 17. <laughs> Revelation 17 or that revelation um some black here Revelation 17. Sorry man, wrong scripture. Right, Revelation 18, so lack here. No, Revelation 17 and 1. Come. And they came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials. Now the vials represent. What it said, these vials is the destruction that is going to be put out on this earth. You see? So in other words, like you got you got a, a, a big glass cup. You pour it out. So these angels can pour out destruction on this earth. You see? And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great war that sitteth upon many waters. The waters is the people. You understand? The waters is the people. The war is America. But they make all the rules. You understand? They make all the legislations. Right? With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Yeah, so the kings of the earth taking on their philosophies, huh? That's what you see in so many um homosexuals running rampant, the the, the making pedophilia legal, the Seattle legal. Right? In order for you to get IMF loans, you gotta adhere to their regulations. You gotta adhere to their rules to get loans to build up the so-called economy. But you can't pay about these laws, man. And then don't know it. Revelation 17 and 3, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Yeah, so the people now listening to the leaders. What are the leaders telling them to do? You see? So they become drunk. They ain't sober no more. Spiritually, that way it started earlier. It's high time to make up all the sleep. All in a spiritual slumber, man. Right? The whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of fornication. Yeah, so the wine is, the wine is their philosophy. 
Boy is their philosophies. You see? So the philosophies of America, hey, you can be a homosexual, you, you can be a transgender, you know what I mean? They um, give uh, pedophiles rights, bestiality, you can marry animals, you see? Women over men. All right? So that's how the inhabitants have been made drunk, man. Yes, so many more. Talking about the first Peter of four. That's something again, but the end of all things is at hand. Yeah, because the judgment of the great war has reached unto the heavens, man. But Revelation 18. Revelation 18. And, um,. Start at four, man. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come on, from my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most high have remembered her iniquities. Hey, I'm gonna feel the love for God, huh? Maybe Isaiah. You get that quick. Let me read the book of Isaiah 49. Lock here. Yeah, car, it's here 49 and um let me start at 40 man. But Zion said, the Lord Yahweh have forsaken me, and my Lord have forgotten me. Zion is so the children of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. Right? You forgotten you, you feel and the most have forgotten you. Nah, be just that what? The Lord the Lord is bound by his word, man. Right? Can a woman forget her second child that she should not have compassion on the son of a womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. So the Lord ain't forget. You understand? This is what? Prophecy is going to unfold, man. So back in Revelation 80. Hey, I mean, the time of the, um, the major prophecy, prophecy is World War Three, and the mark of the beast, man. That radio frequency identification chip. And everybody know, everything going digital, man. Every single thing going digital, right? Get into what? That small R for the microchip, man. Right? That's going to have all your information, man. Right? That's what they're talking about the vaccinations as well. For things to go back so called normal, you gotta be vaccinated. Huh? But this vaccine is going, more, it's going to be more harmful than beneficial. And a lot will be deceived into taking that vaccine first. Vaccine or vaccines, because there can be a series of vaccines they don't want to put inside of you. And then that microchip, which is the mark of the beast, man. Spoken of in the book of Revelation 40. So, anyhow, uh, Revelation 18 and No, Salaki, where was I? Revelation 18 and um, 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. Yeah, the sins he saw Edom have committed, meaning the iniquities they have committed, right? Have reached unto the Mosai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, right? They, 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 they rip, rob, and murder the earth. He touched the the Lord's eye. You see? Everything he's done has been to destroy the earth and his people, man. You see? Revelation 18. And 8 and 6. The Lord heard. Revelation 18 and 6. The Lord heard. Even as she rewarded you. Double on the earth, double according to her words. And the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. So she's going to receive double for everything she's done, man. Everything America has done, you Edomites, that you've done, you're going to receive double. You understand that? And it's going to be harsh, cruel. That way it says in Revelation 6, right? Revelation 6, man. Revelation 6. <laughs> Revelation 6 and um and 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, 
and a mighty name. Every born man, every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. I sent to the mountains and rocks. So yeah, so the mountains and the rocks are these different. Um, they got underground bunkers. They got mountain retreats, right? Literally, literally they carve. They, they, they select in a mountain. They carved out. They carved out. Uh, 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 a hole in the mountain, dig right deep in the mountain, and then and then they made it, they converted it into a uh, 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 I want uh, 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 a rescue player, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? A safe haven, so to speak, right? But that way he says, look, he says, um, where it is, right? And verse 16, and said to the mountains, our rocks fall on us and hide us. So, hey, so the same, so in the, the mind, when they were doing these. When it was constructing and fabricating on the ground bunkers, the mountain retreats, on the water city, cities, the place of reservoir, the place of refuge, so to speak, they were saying, well, look, these, they protect us from the wrath of the lamb. So when you find, when the social finally comes, they can say, well, look, let me go to our rest, let me go to our um, refuge. Right? Cause that, cause that's where you know, that's where we know we can be safe. That's what they're saying in the mind. Right? I said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the fears of him that sit upon the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? That's why in Isaiah, I tell you what, the vengeance is in my heart. Oh, shit. Okay. Isaiah 63. You you gotta remember you crucified the Lord, you know. You 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 put the Lord to death. Right? You put the Lord to death. You say that it's gonna be on us and our children. That what you say. You understand? That what you say. You prefer the murderer over the Savior, man. So there's gonna be harsh recompenses for that. Isaiah 63. Isaiah 63 and 4 for the day of vengeance. You know what? Let me start at um, verse 1, man. Let me start at verse 1, man. Right? I want all that meat, man. Right? Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that coming from Edom with dirty garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to see him. So, hey. The greatness of his strength because the Lord said um, he's gonna come with 10,000 of his saints, man. That's in Micah. Wait a minute, man. Wait a minute, man. The Lord said he's coming with 10,000 of his saints. You understand that, man? You understand the, the power, you understand the majesty, the might that's going to hit this earth, man? Huh? You really understand that, man? So like him, man. They won't find that scripture, boy. So like him, man. They won't find that scripture. Lord, I see you coming with 10,000 of his saints, man. Right? Saint Michael is Jude. Here's the book of Jude 1 of 14. Right? And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord coming with ten thousands of his saints. You hear that? Ten thousand of his saints. Who are the saints? Israelites. To show that the our angels. Our angels, yeah, the angels of brothers be, you understand? 
They are all brothers, B. They are also Israelites, man. You see? To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Please, man. You see? So, yeah, you, 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 but then you talking about the Lord behind you. When he, when he back his turn, you know what I mean? Right? You, 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 um, show him be a lip service, right? You, it, it's judgment, me. You know what I mean? 